Hello my students. Today we have a new topic. Uh, this topic talks about coordination. So our objectives for today are understand how organisms are able to respond to changes in their environment and understand that a coordinated response requires a stimulus, a receptor, and an effector. Okay, in order for living organisms to find food, avoid danger, find mate, basically everything they need to do to live, they could have to be able to respond to what's around them. Now, any change that occurs in an environment, we call it stimulus. Organisms need to be able to detect these stimuli and then respond them. Now, organisms have evolved all amazing different types of receptors to be able to to detect these stimuli. In a human, we get things uh, like the eyes and the ears. And then we coordinate this, uh, the suitable response to them. Coordination, mean, uh, coordination means making things happen at the right time by linking up different body activities. Humans and other animals have two organ systems which do this. We have two systems um, to do a coordination. The first is the nervous system which is the subject of this chapter and the second one <coughs> hormone or endocrine system and we're going to talk about it in the next chapter okay suppose you are walking along when you see a football coming at high speed towards your head what will happen if you're nervous are uh, wor working probably you you will probably move or duck quickly to avoid contact right okay another example imagine another situation where you are very hungry and you smell food cooking your mouth might begin to water, in other words, secret saliva. Each of these situations is an example of a stimulus and a response. A stimulus mean is a change in an animal's surroundings, an animal's environment and a response is a reaction to that change okay for example in the first in the first example uh, the approaching ball was uh, the stimulus and your movement to avoid it hitting you was the, the response the change in, in your environment was detected by your eyes which are an example of an receptor and the response was brought about by coordination of muscles which are a type of effector organ the nerve system links to and is an example of coordination system okay a summary of the sequence of events is stimulus then receptor to detect the stimulus then coordination 
coordination to uh, link up different body activities together for a fixer and response. Um, in the first example, um, when you uh, when you are walking along, when you see a football coming at high speed toward your head, the stimulus was the approaching ball, and the receptor, mm, which organ detect the ball? Of course, your eyes. And the coordination is the center nerve system and we're going to talk about the center nerve system in next uh, video effector uh, muscles and response uh, your movement to avoid the ball uh, hitting you again stimulus a stimulus is a change in the surrounding of an organism that it produces a response and response mean reaction by an organism to a change in its surrounding receptor mean cell or organ that detects a stimulus and effector organ that brings about a response uh, like a muscle or gland okay another example a stimulus receptor coordination effector okay an example uh, two uh, you are very hungry and you smell food cooking your mouth might begin to water in other words secret saliva stimulus was the smell of food this is a smell okay the receptor is mm, think the receptor is what yeah nose and the coordination coordination is the central nerve system effector the salivary glands and the response was secret saliva okay let's take another example or before that the information in the nerve cells is transmitted in the form of tiny electrical signals called nerve impulses. So, what's the meaning of nerve impulses? They are the tiny electrical signals. Okay. <coughs> the surroundings outside the body are called the external environment. And the inside of the body is known as is known as the internal environment. Like what internal environment? Like um, body temperature and the blood glucose levels and so on. And uh, you will read about these response in chapters seven and eight. Okay. Another example about stimulus and response. Identify the stimulus, receptor, coordinator, effector, and response. And this is the example. And this is the question. The sound of a starter gun making an athlete start a race. Okay, you have uh, 30 seconds to think about this question. Identify the stimulus, receptor, coordinator, effector, and response.
Okay, uh, time's up. Stimulus, the sound of a gun. The receptor, which organ detects the stimulus? Of course, the ear. Coordinator, uh, which system link, uh, links the activity together? Center nerve system. Effector, muscles. Response, an athlete starts to run. Okay. Let's talk about the receptors. The role of any receptor is, is to detect the stimulus by changing its energy into the electrical energy of the nerve impulses. For example, the eye converts light energy into nerve impulses and the ear converts sound energy into nerve impulses so any receptor it change energy or change its energy into the electrical energy so the body can deal with that okay a human receptors and the energy that received we're gonna know uh, oh, some receptors or we're gonna read about some receptors in our body okay receptor one eye retina in the eye type of energy received light as we know our eyes receive light the second one ear ear or organ of hearing type of energy received sound um, ear organ of balance mechanical okay tongue chemical tongue chemical okay eye light receive receives light ear receives sound and also ear receives mechanical uh, mechanically related to uh, movement tongue taste buds receives uh, chemical and nose receives chemicals like uh, smell of food skin touch pressure pain receptors mechanical we call them mechanical and the skin temperature receptors receives heat and muscles uh, receives mechanical energy note how a sense like touch is made up of several components when you, when you when we touch a, a warm surface we will be stimulating a several types of receptor including touch including touch and temperature receptor as well as stretch receptors in muscles and the stretch receptors in muscles as well as this each sense detects different aspects of the energy it receives for example the ear don't just detect sound but different loudness and the frequencies of sound while the eye not only form an image but also detect the brightness of light and the humans can tell the difference between 
um, different light wavelength so since it tell us a great deal about changes in the environment okay this is your homework the stimulus response pathway has the following general sequence of events as we know receipt stimulus then receptor to detect the stimulus then wait okay stimulus then receptor to um, detect the stimulus then coordinator coordinator to links uh, the response with the stimulus and effector to make the response so identify the stimulus receptor coordinator effector and response for each of the following uh, situation ducking out of the way of a, a cricket ball the smell of food causing a dog to produce saliva dropping a hot plate that has just been picked up and so on uh, you have to write the stimulus the receptor coordination effector and res uh, response and the second question is complete the table to identify the type of stimulus received by each of the following receptors some receptors organ may respond to more than one stimulus as we know okay that's we have today thank you and goodbye